July is my birthday month and usually every year to celebrate my birthday I do a big makeup skincare Ulta Sephora beauty haul. I use all of my Ulta points. I get my Sephora birthday gift and a few other things and usually after that happens I hit buyer's fatigue. I feel the need to put myself on a no buy so that I can stop bringing in new things and enjoy what I've just bought and all the other things that I already own. So this is going to be a little introduction to my no buy until Black Friday and all the things that I bought for myself right before the no buy in celebration of my birthday. You're going to see some Ulta things and some Sephora things and a huge bag full of free things. Just in case you haven't heard, I'm looking to hit 600 subscribers in celebration of my birthday and the anniversary of my channel. So I would love for you to consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. And if you already have, thank you very much. I'm so happy to have you here with me. First, I think we should go ahead and dive into my Sephora bag. I don't have a whole lot from Sephora because I bought something pretty bougie for myself. I really never thought that I would actually buy, but I don't regret it one second. So let's take a look at the bag. The birthday gift that I chose for this year was the Moroccan oil set. It comes with much better now. It comes with, oh gosh, that's so much I'm at the point in my life when I need readers. So it comes with Moroccan oil treatment, hydrating shampoo, conditioner, hand cream. And I'm really looking forward to the hand cream. I didn't even know that Moroccan oil made hand cream. So that will be very nice. And a points perk that I got was the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I have heard great things about Amika and haven't ever tried their dry shampoo. So I'm looking forward to that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the three things that I bought from Sephora. I've really wanted to try this for a long time and I had this on my loves list for a long time and it's the Rare Beauty Mascara in the shade Black and I went ahead and just got a mini because I wanted to try it out and make sure that I liked it before I committed to a full thing and I knew really kind of in the back of my mind I wanted to spend a lot of money but, but not on that. So I wanted to go ahead and get something cheaper. I also went ahead and got their brow gel from Rare Beauty and this is the clear brow gel and I'm loving it so far. It does a really great job of holding my eyebrows in place but there's no like flaking like dandruff kind of stuff and they don't they're not like hard crunchy eyebrows. I'm enjoying that brow gel. Okay, and if you follow me on Instagram, which I would love for you to go follow me over there because I usually post like daily makeup looks and other kinds of things. I shared this on my birthday that I went ahead and got this for myself. I got a large tube, tub, of the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. And I just thought the packaging was so beautiful. If you have it within your budget to get this, even in the small tube, I highly suggest that you do it, especially if you have dry skin. This moisturizer is absolutely wonderful. You really don't need a whole lot. So even though this was very expensive, it's going to last me forever because really all that you need is just this little scoop about that much to go all over your face and your face is going to be very hydrated, feeling very plump, and even into the next day. It has a lovely fragrance to it, which I enjoy. And it's a light fragrance, so it's not overly, overly fragranced. To me, it's well worth, it's one of those few products that's well worth every penny. So if you have it within your budget to be able to get that, I suggest that you try it out. So those are all of the three things I got from Sephora and my two free items. Let's go ahead and dive into Ulta. So Ulta's came in two different sections. One, I placed an order from Ulta, and then uh, the day after my birthday, I went into Ulta and got some things. So it's just gonna kind of be a conglomeration of both of those hauls. And um, before I get into that, I did want to share 
some things I had gotten off Amazon, kind of, in relation to my birthday, and then something I got from Walmart. Just recently had the need to restock my sunscreens, so I went ahead and got my favorite summer sunscreen that is from Bliss. It's the Block Star SPF 30. I love this so much because it has a slight tint to it. It is not overly dewy and hydrating, so that's great for me in the summertime. And I just really love the sunscreen a lot. So I wanted to have that. And it was cheaper on Amazon than it was at the store. And then I went ahead and wanted to try some like uh, Korean skincare sunscreens, which were way cheaper than the Bliss Wow. And I'm loving this one. The Sun By Me V10 Haul Air Fit Sunscreen. As nice as mine. And Haul Complex, I'm assuming that's hyaluronic acid, possibly. But I have a short up on that, so I'll try to link it below. Love this, works great under makeup, as does this one from Fruitia. And it's SPF 50 plus, and it has SPF PA plus 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 plus. The only thing about this one that I would say in like a review is it does have a fragrance to it. And so if you're someone that doesn't like fragrance, you might not like this because it's a very, fruity florally fragrance um, not an SPF sunscreen fragrance it's a florally fruity fragrance uh, but it was like less than ten dollars and it works really well and both of these are on the hydrating dewy side so generally on days when I wear these I just kind of do a little extra like powder or whatever to kind of tamp down some of the dewiness but they're really great also recently because I had decluttered some foundations to my mother-in-law, so I used that as a reason to get some more from Walmart. I got the Elf Soft Glam Satin Foundation. I used the shade 25 Light Neutral. This is what I'm wearing today. I think it's a really great, easily buildable foundation, and I feel like it is just really wonderful. I, I love it. Not too heavy, not too cakey. And the same thing for the Pretty Smart Foundation. This is a new brand. Uh, I don't actually have it in my Walmart. I, you can get it online, though, if it's not in your Walmart. But Pretty Smart is supposed to be the same people who created the balm. But now you have, like, a more affordable option. And I would definitely love to check out more things from Pretty Smart. So both of these are very similar in what they do. And they're very similar in their finishes. Uh, but I am enjoying both of them. And I had also recently got this from e.l.f. It's the Stay Cool Primer Stick. I like to put this on sometimes after I've gotten ready, like skincare on in the morning. I'll put this on my face before I come and put my makeup on. I don't think it's cooling, but it feels cool on the skin. <laughs> like it feels neat, but it's not cooling. Let's go ahead and take a look at all the things that I bought either in store or online at Ulta. I haven't tried this yet, but I've wanted this for a little while. The Ordinary Saccharomyces Ferment 30% Milky Toner. It's supposed to be a toner that is gently exfoliating without any acids in it. And I was interested in trying that. So I got that. And I also got their Retinol 0.2 Emulsion. And I'm enjoying this so far also. I am pretty experienced with retinol. So it's not like hurting my skin, burning my skin. My skin's not like freaking out and, and like peeling and stuff. But this is supposed to be a high strength retinaldehyde formula for age support. I got two of these shower um, aroma, 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 aroma shower steamers. I had gotten some shower steamers from the Dollar Tree and they don't smell like anything at all. And I don't take baths in general and our shower in our master bathroom in this house doesn't have a bathtub so I do have to take showers generally uh, so you know sometimes you just want to spoil yourself a little bit and take a nice relaxing shower so this will really help with that the free gift birthday gift that I got from Ulta was the verb uh, weightless ghost oil I guess for your hair it's supposed to help with frizz and things like that and I have tried a few things from Verb, but never tried this. I'm very excited to try something new because um, the lady that does my hair, like colors my hair, I have really been getting a lot of dryness with 
the treatments that she's putting on my hair for coloring and so I'm finding myself needing to use oils and masks a lot more often. I'm not sure if it's the styling that I'm having done to my hair or maybe the fact that I'm getting a little older and my hair is just not bouncing back like it used to. I'm, I'm not sure. Well, either one of those. All right, let's take a look at some more smaller things. I am loving this mini palette from Natasha Denona, the mini starlet. I love this so much. I've talked about this during my eyeshadow palette week a whole lot. I will just quickly say, while it doesn't look like much, it really does shine once you put it on your eyes and it really kind of like performs best on your actual eyes as opposed to sitting here in the pan. And I'm looking forward to her releasing one day a midi starlet because that more of that would definitely be very exciting. Okay, I had gotten a mini size of the Hourglass um, concealer, Vanish Concealer, but I accidentally ordered the lightest shade that you can order, and which was not the right shade. And while I was in store, I just went ahead and got, because I like it a lot, so I went ahead and got a full size of a darker shade. And I figured out I'm going to get the full size because I knew that I liked it and I knew that, you know, it, it will go to good use. And my Natasha Denona surely is going to be out pretty soon because that's the only one that I use right now. Okay, I had also gotten this e.l.f. Hydrating Core Lip Shine in the shade Happy. And so this is strange to me. I have used this a few times. It looks brown to me, but when I use it, it's pink. So that really kind of threw me off a lot. But I do like the formula of this a whole lot. It has nice pigmentation with a really great shine and hydration. Okay. Now, I have two last products, no, almost two, two lippies that I got from Wet n Wild. They're the Soft Blur um, Matte Lipsticks. I think I just didn't read the description of these. I thought that it was going to be more like um, those Rimmel things, kind of like uh, Ally Glines brand where a lot of brands are putting out things in this kind of format but they're really glossy like this. I didn't read the fact that these are matte <laughs> and I also do not like this color. It's going to take, I've already a long time ago bought something that was this color for myself and I, did, I ended up decluttering it. This is the shade Bally Blossom. And then this one is the shade Homecoming Queen, which is a little better. It did come a little bit um, messed up right there. It's a little better, but I am still just not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure about either one of those. I have bought <clears throat> a couple years ago for my birthday. I gotten some Milani lipsticks that were kind of like supposed to be out of my comfort zone kind of shades. And I ended up really not liking them and decluttering them. So I feel like these are going to be along the same lines. <laughs> I hope that I can find a way to like them so that I don't have to throw them away. Or not throw them away. I'll give them to my daughter or for somebody else. Now the last two things that I bought from Ulta are really kind of some splurge items. I had never tried the Sol de Janeiro like body sprays and man oh man am I so glad that I did this one is my favorite the 48 Chirosa oh my gosh it says let's see feel the rush of fresh guava nectar sunlit orchid and a sensuous pink musk this one is really really lovely kind of florally but that musk kind of alleviates the grandma-ness of the floral shape and this one, number 40, is Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. And I do really like this one. It's not quite my favorite over the other one, though. But you can really smell that vanilla in it. And I think they're great for summertime. And I'm really thankful that I tried that. And because I got those two things, let's dig into my free freebies from Ulta. So you know how sometimes Ulta will do like a free gift set if you spend such, such, such and such amount of money? So I had spent like $90 and so I got all of this stuff for free. 
Because I got the Sol de Janeiro um, body sprays, I did get a small thing of the Boom Dea Bright Cream. And it's the 40. So I, I do really like this a lot. I haven't tried the actual cream, but I'm excited to be able to layer those two together. And now let's really quickly go through all the things that I got for free. Now this bag was pretty cute. And the main reason why I got this set is because it had these pimple patches in them from Good Molecules. And my daughter always likes to have these on hand. So I thought that would save me a little bit of money if I just went ahead and got them for free. I think this is so cute. It's a, a perfume, like a mini perfume instead of like a sample of the Versace Bright Crystal. Like, so pretty. And I'm so uh, thankful that it has a little dabber to it that will be helpful as opposed to a roller ball. I've recently discovered that I don't like perfumes with roller balls. Um, you did get uh, like a sample of this My Way from Giorgio Armani. I haven't tried that yet, but I bet that I'll like it. I have no idea what this is. I gotta figure it out. It doesn't, it feels like nothing in here. It is the Good Patch Rescue, bounce back after a night out. You put this on your wrist, play, peel it place on the inside of wrist before your night out or on the morning. I don't know what this is supposed to do. If you know what this is supposed to do, leave me a comment. Otherwise, I'm gonna investigate it on my own, but you can tell me what that's for. Uh, here's a hair thing. It's the Caviar Anti-Aging Restructuring Bond Repair Treatment Leave-In Mask. So I think that'll be great for me trying to like rehydrate my hair. This is a pretty extensive, nice sample of the Balayage Bond Therapy Treatment. So again, good for my hair. And let's see, now there were several skincare things. This is huge. This has got to be a full size of the Thayer's pH Balancing Daily Cleanser. Uh, and I have never tried this brand before, so I'm hoping that my skin really likes it. It says it has aloe vera and hyaluronic acid in it, so I'm hoping that that will be nice and gentle to my skin. You get this uh, Clinique All About Clean Foaming Cleanser. Likely, I might give that to my daughter or my husband. Foaming cleansers generally dry me out a lot, so I generally stay away from those. I've tried this before from a Sunday Riley. It's the Good Genes Lactic Acid, and I do like this, so I like to have that on hand. This is from Vichy, the Mineral 89 Fortifying and Plumping Daily Booster. That'll be really fun. I like to keep those kinds of things when I travel, and I will be traveling for work. I'll be gone for like three nights and four days. So, you know, when you're traveling and your skincare routine is not exactly what it normally is, I like to kind of throw on a lot of hydrating nourishing things on my skin. You also got this Kula Refreshing Water Plumping Gel Serum Sunscreen. So I think I just need to investigate, is this a serum with sunscreen or is it a sunscreen? But that'll be cool. And also it says it has blue screen stuff. Um, I told you about that. Burp. Here's another serum from Dior, the Le Serum Capture Total. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> like to try new skincare things. Then you have this small ABH clear brow gel. Those are always really nice to have. And lastly, if I'm taking a look at everything, and I had to get my daughter to look at this because I didn't have my glasses on, but now I can read it. It's from Essie, and I wasn't sure if it was a cuticle oil, and it is. It's the apricot nail and cuticle oil. And I definitely, I already have one from Dollar Tree that's in a dropper. And now this one has the brush, which is going to be so much better because the dropper on that one is, it's hard to like control how much you get. But I am, hopefully me and my daughter can start using this. And I, oh, and it smells nice. It smells like apricots. So there you go. Yay. All right. That's my birthday haul. And now I'm on a no buy. I'm on a no buy until November is kind of in my mind when I'm estimating once the Black Friday sales start going on and I can take a look at my wish list to see what things I have in mind, what would I like to buy. 
And when I'm thinking about that and trying to think ahead, I know that I would love to have the Natasha Denona um, Golden palette. And I have had my eye on Huda's um, Retro Glam, uh, whatever. It's like the cooler tone version. I saw that in store at Sephora, and yeah, that is so amazing. Wow. Oh, the, I swatched one shimmer, like one glitter, and it was all over me. <laughs> I was glittery for the rest of the day. It was very soft, and so I'm really looking forward to getting that. So there's two eyeshadow palettes that I have my eyes on. Persona always comes out with wonderful, beautiful blushes, and that is my weakness, and their blushes are my weakness. So, you know, maybe getting some more blushes added to my collection later on this year. So we'll see. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching. And if you stuck around to the end, let me know when's your birthday month. I'll see you in another video. Bye.